Good afternoon. As just stated, my name is Brianna Morell, and I am delighted to be in your presence this afternoon to share with you a few words. When given the theme of this year's Summer Institute, Acting on Our Beliefs, my student instinct kicked in. I immediately began researching and went to the dictionary and found the technical definition of belief. The psychological state in which an individual holds a proposition or premise to be true. In basic terms, a belief is confidence in the truth. It was during my elementary years that my personal belief of self-success was born. I was confident and had a premise that I would be successful no matter what. With my mother and father by my side, I had a sort of built-in belief system along with teachers and mentors. I acted on my main belief of self-success daily. With my father in the military, my role as an army brat began early. And this is where I formed my own belief that learning is a constant action that we all encounter and I would be successful at it. Often beginning the school year in one state and then moving to another, I moved around more than the average child. Traveling became second nature to me. I had to adapt to new environments and people on a regular basis. But even as a young child, I believed that one thing was persistent, and that was school. No matter where I went, country to country, state to state, school was the same. You read, write, take tests, do projects, and have the occasional fun days. School was school to me. I found refuge in learning new things. When it came to school, I believed that I would achieve. I didn't worry about anything else. If there came the time when we had to relocate, I knew that I would be going to a new school, but it was basically the same learning. Though going to different schools with different curriculums, I was the one everyone could count on. I believed that this was a quality that would be very important in my future. And today, I pride myself in keeping this quality of dependability, a quality that complements my belief of self-success. Through my middle school years, school was still number one. I often took it upon myself to complete school assignments and projects before I indulged in anything else. Growing up as the only child in the household for eight years, I believed in myself and developed a very independent attitude. I was self-motivated and always took the initiative. I had grown up this way and carried it on through life. In eighth grade, I made one of the most important decisions of my life, applying to a new school that was opening the next school year. This particular school would allow me to earn up to 60 free college credits, go to school on a college campus, and be the very first to graduate. After consulting with my life coach, my mother, I filled out the extensive application, complete with recommendations and essays, this was just another step in my journey of self-success. About a month later, I received a letter in the mail and was officially accepted to Cross Creek Early College High School on the campus of Fayetteville State University. Since the start of my journey at this new school, I knew that education would always be number one. I made no hesitations to stay on top of all my schoolwork. I had a mission to complete high school knowing I did the best my whole way through. I will let no one or nothing get in the way of this goal. I had a belief of excellence and strived for it every day. All throughout high school, I did just that. With the help from Cross Creek Early College, teachers and staff with small class sizes, I had my own family away from home. I stayed on course, never lost sight of my goal, and completed my mission at the top of my class on May 12th. 22nd, 2009, while giving my valedictory address, I realized that I had made it. All my years of learning and self-discipline up to this point had paid off. Graduating as number one of the first graduating class was one of my greatest achievements. As a college student, I continued my education at Fayetteville State University, and my love for learning never stopped. It was stronger than ever. I enjoyed the classes, the professors, and the overall experience. With skills I gained at Cross Creek, I felt I was a step above the rest. I interned at two local magazine companies, traveled to conferences and conventions. 
I was Senator at Large on the Student Government Association, staff writer for the student newspaper, and supplemental instruction leader for chemistry. My discipline for learning and belief in myself helped me to be involved in many extracurricular activities and maintain a 4.0 grade point average. On May 7, 2011, at the age of 20, I graduated as valedictorian once again, and I received my Bachelor of Arts degree in communication with a concentration in mass communication. Next week, I will embark on yet another journey and enhance my belief of self-success. Heading to upstate New York, I will pursue my master's degree in magazine, newspaper, and online journalism at Syracuse University. The extensive one-year program will allow me to receive my degree in the year 2012, and I will have my master's at the age of 21. When asked what's next, When asked what's next, my response without hesitation is school. <laughs> Why stop? My brain is still fresh and young. One more degree or two won't hurt. My ultimate goal is to become editor in chief of my own magazine. With tomorrow not promised to anyone, I pride myself in helping others and living life to the fullest. Self success is an ongoing belief that I work towards every single day to individuals who are hesitant or uncertain on goals in life or even your next move. I say, don't think, just act. You yourself can be the one to think about something too hard and talk yourself out of it. My mission in life is to simply live, laugh, learn, and love, four short words that have no meaning without action. Thank you for your time, and I wish everyone a life full of victory and success. Thank you.